what's good what's good what's good lovely soul empress here coming to do sagittarius's july reading okay um <clears throat> just a quick announcement i started my patreon um last month okay um all extended readings including the extended for this one will be on patreon um if you join the patreon you get all extended videos for all signs okay plus uh weekly and daily energies and and other things uh, i will link the um i will put the link in the description box but if you want to purchase just one um extended reading you can pay at um um paypal at lovely soul or cash app at um uh dollar sign lovely soul empress uh the fee is uh five dollars and fifty five cents and you email me with the title of the video and I will send it to you directly. Okay, so this is up to you. As I said, I will link it in the description box. Okay, so we're going to get into your uh, pre-shuffle. Uh, you got the chariot. Okay, so I feel like there could be a cancer of importance, um, but there's movement in a situation. It could be to or from. You could be physically moving, or this could be uh, energetic, okay? Now, you also got the moon, which made me really feel like there is a cancer involved, okay? There could be a secret or a deep longing for something. You got the two of pentacles, so I feel like you're juggling two situations, two ideas, or two people. You could be going back and forth about this. Then you got the three of cups. This could indicate a third party, or this could be talking about an event that's coming up. It could be the 4th of July, right? Or this could be some type of happy um, happiness, right? Now, you got the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. So I feel like something is stuck, okay? You've been trying to bring this in, and then it's look for the signs. So I feel like your spirit guides are trying to uh, communicate with you about that. You got passion, so there could be uh, something that you're passionate about, or there's a new person on the scene, or there's a rekindling of passion. You got getting to know you, so for many of you, this is a new person, okay? Or this is, like I said, a rekindling. You got alien telepathic messages and songs, right? So you could be communicating with somebody. This could be the signs. This could be spirit. This could be a person around you, okay? You got peace. I feel like that's what you're tapping into. And you also got blame. So I feel like somebody would like to rest some blame at your feet or vice versa. And then you got, you are my destiny in reverse. Okay. So this could have been somebody you changed your mind about, somebody that changed their mind about you, or this could be in your surrounding circumstances. Okay. Now for your oracles, you got peaceful resolution. So I feel like some type of conflict or this could even be inner conflict is going to come to some clarity for you and ask your angels. Okay, so spirit is saying to um, to go to your angels, your spirit guides, and this will help you get this peaceful, peaceful resolution. And then recovery was at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like some of you are actually recovering, could be from an emotional situation, physical situation. But take it how it resonates. You got karma. And it says there's nothing from a past life that can't be addressed in the current life. Now, this could be actual karma energy. This could be, you know, from a past life. Or this could be something that's coming back around so that you can have another shot at um, resolving something. Because you do have this peaceful resolution. And like I said, this could be inner conflict. And then you got the inner power okay so this says give me the courage and the power to do what must be done right so i feel like this could be a return of either a past life something that you didn't get to accomplish in the past life and spirit is giving you the opportunity to do that now or this is like revisiting a situation that happened in this life it could feel like a past life it could be 10 years old but whatever the case may be I feel like it's taking some type of courage. I'm getting um, strength card energy with uh, this inner power. Okay, that could be a Leo of importance. But we're going to get right into it. We're going to pull a Celtic spread. We're going to see what's going on. Spirit, can you show me what is the situation revolving my Sagittarius gang gang, sun, moon, rising, and Venus, most important messages? One card. Thank you, Spirit. Now I'm going to take the one that was on the bottom. And then um, one card for what's the blockage for my Sagittarius gang. Okay. And let me get one card for what is at the foundation. 
for my Sagittarius gang. Can you show me, Spirit? One card for the foundation. Okay. Can you show me one card for the energy that's falling away for Sagittarius, please? One card for the energy that's falling away. Okay. And one card for the energy that is crowning Sagittarius right now. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Thank you. And can you give me one card for the energy that's coming in towards Sagittarius for the month of July, Spirit? Can you show me one card? One card for the uh, energy coming into Sagittarius for the month of July. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I will take uh, the bottom one. Thank you. One card for how they see themselves, Spirit. One card for how they see themselves for Sagittarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node for the month of July. How do they see themselves? Thank you. Take the bottom card. Thank you. It's funny. You got the strength card for that. I did tell you I felt strength energy. Can you tell me, uh, show me what, how others see Sagittarius? Okay, can you show me, um, hold on, can you show me one card for what's in their hopes and fears, Spirit, one card for their hopes and fears, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? And one card for the most likely outcome. Thank you. At the bottom of the deck is the magician. The magician's been busy for July readings. Okay, that's an Aries of importance. Could be a Virgo as well. You got the um, page of cups here. So somebody could be apologizing for something. We're going to grab, grab a clarification deck and get right into it. All right, so you got the seven of cups in reverse. So I feel like you might have felt like there was a lot of options in the situation. You could have felt like some of them were illusions, but it's here in reverse. So I feel like you might actually feel like your options are limited or you're seeing things clearly now. Spirit, why can't why is this seven of cups here? Five of swords crossed, right? So you feel like your back is up against the wall in regards to a situation, okay? I'm feeling the energy of having to push through, no way around it pushing through no way around it yeah hangman okay it forced you to get like a new perspective that could be an aquarius or a pisces of importance now you got the king of pentacles sitting here cross okay this is taurus virgo capricorn this is also the wise um masculine stable okay this is also the quintessential spouse so there could be a problem going on with your spouse spirit why is this king of pentacles in the blockage can you show me Five of Cups, okay, in reverse. Let me get one more, Spirit. Why is this Five of Cups here? With the Eight of Cups. So there could be a King of Pentacles in a situation that is walking away from something um, and they're not regretting it with the Five of Cups, leaving it all behind. I feel like it's a pressure cooker situation. Okay, Eight of Swords, Spirit. I feel like this masculine is going to take an action that they don't regret. Spirit, Eight of Swords at the foundation. Why? Eight of Swords at the foundation. Can you show me, Spirit? Eight of Swords. So being stuck in your head about uh, death and transformation. So for some of you, I'm getting an older uh, relative who is passing. I feel like they're ready to go. Sorry to say that, okay? Um, if that is the case for you, my deepest condolences. But I feel like this person is elderly, all right? I feel like they could have been suffering for some time. They're releasing now, right? Better things headed their way. Right now, some of some of you, this could be like a parent. 
For others of you, this is a death of a situation that had you stuck in your head and now you're going off in a new direction. You got Scorpio, you got Aries down here. But it was something that was hard to do. Now, some of you could be leaving your spouse. Now you have the Ten of Pentacles as to the energy that's falling away. This is family, generational wealth, and legacy. This could be about a um, about an inheritance as well. With the Two of Swords, something that you don't see. Spirit, can I get one more? There could be also an ending to a Ten of Pentacles with the Ten of Swords. For some of you, it's an ending of a relationship. For others of you... It could be a, a patriarch in the family who is moving on. And there could be some questions as far as the inheritance. Um, Page of Wands, creative idea or message. This also, I'm getting a separate message. Like um, they're trying to tax an inheritance like heavily. And there's a, like, you know, a creative idea maybe between the family members as to how to avoid that. Or like taking up assets or some shit. Yeah, the emperor. I feel like this person was seen as the emperor. Could be an Aries, Taurus, or Scorpio of importance. Now, you have the king of wands crowning you. This is you. Spirit, why is this king of wands here? So I'm feeling like um, normally you... Um, you may not always be in the front or let's say you might um, energetically move as a group, but right now you're having to take the lead. Spirit, why is this King of Wands here? Can you show me? With the King of Pentacles. And the King of Cups. Six of Swords. Okay, so Spirit, let me get one more. Why are these two kings here? Why are these two kings here? Six of Wands. So I feel like um, this could be a secondary King of Pentacles or this is you. Um, like This is going to seem like a very strange message. But I feel like this person, if you have somebody who's passing, who's close to you, they're giving you their gifts. They're joining your your spirit guides. Magician, they want to help you manifest something. Eight of Pentacles. Okay, I feel like they um they want to work on something. Now, also some of you um remember we're here on soul journeys that we already signed up for prior to coming to this earth, this lifetime. I feel like this person signed the contract, but this is very heavy. Okay, spirit. This person signed the contract to go before you so they could help you with something that is coming into you now. Okay, they're coming to you before the tower because of the love that they have for you. And they're going to show you the illumination of which way to go. Okay, this is the king of swords, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Now we've seen all kings. There's a very strong empowerment. This person was an emperor. Or is an emperor. But there's an energy of somebody joining your 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 guides. Okay. If this is not um someone that you actually lost, this is somebody who was sent. Right? Because there's something uh that you're dealing with right now that has heavy energy and they're coming in to help you because like I said, you have the seven of cups in reverse. Something you feel you have no way to um, to resolve but to go through it. Now you have the wine of, nine of wands as the energy that's coming in. Spirit, why? This could be a situation that affects you directly, it could affect the family directly, but it's something where um, where you have to step into a, like a fight, right? And then you have the nine of wands. So you got your boundaries up with the knight of um, 
wands okay which is also your energy i feel like you are not giving up i feel like you're trying several avenues if one doesn't work you're going to plan b you're going to plan c you're going to plan d okay but spirit is saying be careful that you don't react in a, a reflexive way right because the nine of wands is boundaries but if you see it says uh taking action and thinking thinking later don't do that okay you need to formulate a plan. Okay, now the strength card is how you see yourself, spirit. Why is this strength card here? Okay, so the strength card is the card of Leo. I feel like you are tapping into your inner strength, okay? It's a party place. Three of Cups. I feel like this is, um, you know, there could be news of a third party. This could not even be like somebody in a relationship with you. This could be like somebody else coming in with some type of uh, claim to something. In other words, a third party, but maybe not an intimate one. For some of you, it could be Ten of Pentacles, family, legacy, generational wealth, Page of Pentacles. Here's a message for a tangible offer. Page of Swords, you may deny this offer. Uh, page um, of Swords can be blocking, but that means somebody's watching too. Nine of Wands, somebody else has their um, boundaries up too. I'm feeling energy of digging in. Seven of Pentacles, there's an assessment going on here. And this assessment could be like cutting up the pie with the Five of Wands, right? Conflicts and deception, right? Be careful around other people who are trying to like, um, I don't want to say steal, but leverage, leverage. I heard leverage a situation to their benefit. And here you are, queen of wands with the queen of swords. I feel like you're coming into balance and getting ready to cut the shit out of somebody. Now, if this is a parent, again, I hate to be harping on this, but if this is a parent or, you know, it could be like, uh, you know, uh, um, their spouse trying to, like, let's say if it's a situation where it's like, um, like you have a parent that was divorced and remarried, like the other person is trying to, the married person that they have is trying to like, uh, keep something away from the rest of the family, right? Justice, final judgment. I feel like this will come to light. Right. And it will be heartbreaking and there will be a decision that you will have to do attached to it. OK, now people see you as the tower spirit. Why the tower? Scorpio of importance. Why the tower spirit? Why do they see my Sagittarius gang gang as the tower? OK, so you a lot of shit has happened to you with this tower card. Right. But people are always surprised by how the fuck you get up. Because you're coming up here as the star. This is some transformative fucking energy. Right? Eight of Pentacles. Watch me work. Right? So it's like even when the odds are stacked up against you, you uh, find a way out. And it's because of these ancestors. Okay? Right? They're manifesting on your behalf. And like I said, they're supposed to come in before this tower. Okay? Now you got the Ace of Cups. Spirit, why is this in their hopes and fears? So I'm getting the energy of somebody who feels like they might have felt like they didn't get enough love in their life or they're afraid of losing love. You got the four of swords. I feel like this love that you might be afraid of losing or this could be self-love. I feel like it's actually expanding with this four of swords. You could be healing from something, but I'm hearing ascension and expansion. Okay. And the lovers. Okay. A choice in love. You could be with a Gemini or somebody important. Maybe they had a third party in the past and uh, you're fearful of this happening again. But I feel like this Ace of Cups with this Four of Swords is like your self-love. Okay, and then the lovers like choosing something that would benefit you. With the Ten of Wands, like you're getting to put some burdens down. Okay, Seven of Wands, I feel like you are above the competition and this emperor has chose to help you in something and then the king of wands which is you the three of swords is here as the overall energy i mean as the out outcome spirit why 
That is you, King of Wands. One more, Spirit. Can I get one more? One more. With the Five of Wands. So I feel like something magical happens with this magician. I feel like something that you wanted to manifest is coming into fruition. I also feel like there is a magician apart from what you're manifesting. This is this person who's trying to be sneaky about something finances or get over in some way. Okay, but they're up against you, the King of Wands and then the Five of Wands. So there's some conflict there. Knight of Pentacles. This could take a long time to come in, but the Wheel of Fortune finally turns. There is a secret though, okay? There is a secret. You did have this, I think, yeah, in your pre-shuffle. Could be a cancer of importance and there's somebody juggling something. This cancer could have had a secret about having two people, five of pentacles. They didn't want to be left out in the, in the cold or they didn't want to be homeless. And then the empress, Taurus or Libra. They felt like they could um, get from you The chariot, here's a cancer. Or they could be coming back energetically because they need from the empress, but there's some toxicity here and it's coming to light with the sun. Okay, so um, let's see if spirit wants to tell us something about this situation. Anything else? Spirit, is there anything else that my Sagittarius gang needs to know about this situation? Anything else, Spirit? Thank you. So I feel like in the end, you win a situation with financial support and happiness, wholeness, overjoyed, smiling. I told you there was something about some money here. Okay, I feel like that does come into fruition, but it takes some time. It's not going to happen overnight, Spirit. What does my Sagittarius gang need to work on? And if you could like this for me, uh, that would be great. Abundance, okay? And surrender at the bottom of the deck. So you have to believe with that magician card. Believe and, you know, it said ask your angels, okay? Which I told you there's like somebody, a new angel coming in to join in this fight. Karma and inner power. This person coming in, they could have... Felt like they owe you something. Or maybe they weren't there for you before. So now they're trying to show up when you need the most. But you're not going to physically see them there because they're going to be helping you from the other side. Okay, this is this abundance. Okay. And at the bottom of the deck was surrender. You got to surrender it to your ask, ask angels. Okay, surrender it to them. Okay, so um, that's what I have for you, my Sagittarius gang gang. Um, if you'd like to book a personal with me, you can go over to my website, lovelysoulempress.com. Okay, also, um, like I said, if uh, this is where we part ways, thank you for spending time with me. If you're interested in the extended, I will link the Patreon down below, or you can hit me at lovelysoulempress at gmail.com with the title of the um with the title of the reading that you want and pay five dollars and fifty five cents on either cash app or paypal both of the um links will be in the description box and i will send you the extended okay so um for the rest of you heading over with me um to the extended um just um we're gonna be looking at what this person's true intentions for you is I should say what their true feelings are, what their true intentions are, what are they hiding from you, what are they currently experiencing, and the most likely outcome. So if you're interested in that, like I said, follow me, all right? So um, I'm wishing y'all love and light and blessings on blessings. Namaste.